There we go. All right. Hi guys. This is Floatech Gaming here. I finally got to work. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we're playing more Tau over here. It's playing the greater good and whatnot. I actually took a break from the Tau beta for like uh, maybe a day or so to do, play other games. Uh, what? And well, for the most part, like the first day the uh, beta came out, I spent. I was the entire day playing the game for the most part, so I had about like 20 or so videos that, that I still haven't put up on YouTube as of yet, which is insane. Just like a bunch of videos that I, I still need, I'm just like splitting out over the um, next couple of days. But for the most part, I have. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like I'm still having troubles with the uh, beta in terms of just like the fact that it is a beta. Like, not latency issues, but just loading times. They just seem so arbitrarily long. Some of two's reason that I just don't understand. So I'm like tr dealing with that. Like, it takes like hours or so. Literally hours. No, no, not hours. Okay. Oh yeah, I, I put cloaking fields on my on my little Air cost ready for orders. transport because you can because Tau literally is so you can put cloaking fields on your transports here isn't that just awesome What is this guy doing? I don't think he's buying my ruse. And let me move the mic closer to me. No, I don't think he's buying my ruse at all. He seems quite content with leaving his disposition fleet or so. Yeah, the disposition of his fleet is horrible. So your life really doesn't matter. Looks like my transport's gonna be able to slip through the chaos. Reporting losses amongst our Did he really just he torpedoed his his own ship? That's that's just that's just wonderful. Get on your flank side. Repair drones activated. They are cast ready for order. Weapons hot. Air cast ready for orders. The ethereals guide us. Piss off. <laughs> Good. The Imperials guide us. At 
Await your orders, Connor. Navitic drive engaged. Pure tides teaching skies. Uh, how about no? Reserve to call that draw. Primary system is taking heavy damage. At your orders, Coral. How may I serve the Tao Bar? I'm like transports are literally one part of this battle at all. They're just hiding. It will be so. And I missed, and that cuss. Wait, my, my ship, it's alive. No, nope, we'll not let you get away. Shift to optimal combat speed. <laughs> like all my transports were just like in the back, like like just like, oh, oh there's a battle going on. We gotta avoid that. Like literally, so they're just back there, they're just, and they'll just completely, yeah, they were completely cloaked from the enemy. There was like they couldn't even see them. That was just awesome. Truly, the patient hunter gets to play. That was nice. That was awesome. Let's see if we can get into another match for this video. Yeah, if the queue times aren't that bad. I don't know when the beta actually ends. I'm sure that they're going to wipe all the progress. So that's why I'm not really keen on making... Well, I want to make more tower videos because I know you guys like the tower videos. But I also know that it's irrelevant to put any effort into them because, like, right now, they're just all going to get wiped. So, so like, right, the only thing I can do now is just make the most efficient... What? Yeah, all I can do right now is just just play them and just try to get the get as many videos what well, produced and edited and put out on YouTube as physically possible. But that's that's about it. That's all I can do. I can't really like really invest permanent time into a towel because I, I, I just don't want to. I want to put videos out of the towel but at the same time I don't want to because then they're just going to wipe all the stats and it's going to be a bunch of waste of time or a bunch of wasted time for the most part or so in terms of just like grinding which is sad but, but it, it does make sense so I'm not too upset about that. So I wiped his fleet last time, so I wonder what he's going to do this time. Now I've actually considered getting the ale cast for the, um... Now if we, I don't know, the extra upgrade is actually a good excuse to still have the ale cast. But the ale cast would make this thing very maneuverable, so I, I, I thought about that or so in the last couple of days, that maybe it might be worth it. Like one of the benefits of my YouTube videos is the fact that it's actual games that I have played so I can use it as like a little analysis on how I've been playing and how I should either modify my strategy at different tactics, different maneuvers or so or whatnot or so. It gives me a huge amount of feedback into how I've been playing and how to counteract different strategies with the, just the vast amount of information I'm recording and putting on YouTube, which is nice. But I would hope that it would also help you guys learn how to play the tell. Not only by looking at what strategies work, but what strategies don't work, what investments you should be um, putting into the tell. Like for instance, the, um, the Seeker missiles are very effective in close quarters as they basically work just like they basically just work like the uh, the Nogal uh, favor for chaos, except for they can be signif they're significantly more powerful the more turns you have. So you can literally 
I think it might be better just to add extra turns and then do the sequel missiles so then you're just spamming those out like crazy. That might that would probably be scary. At your orders, there's that, there's the um ade um adaptive deflector and whatnot and so these are all very very effective tools that you should definitely am I gonna hit the mines? These all have a hundred health points. If I hit that mines GG. Four hundred immediate four hundred. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna negate okay, so I'm gonna test negate the damage. I was about to say like if this thing decided to go through, it would just immediately die. Indeed, got to spread that grid again. How may I serve the tower? Swift and silent we pass. That's not what I, I wanted to push you. For Anva it will be so. Structural integrity compromised. Honor the teachings of Vior. Hmm. Jones have identified an enemy target. Weapons hot. Aircars ready for orders. Gravity drive engaged. We serve the Corvatra. Honor the teaching of Viola. We serve the Corvatra. How may I serve the Tau Bar? To spread the greater good. At your orders, Connor. Oh, ship down. At your orders, Coral. As the Imperials wish. Aircast ready for orders. Pure tides teaching sky how far. For Umbar, it will be so. He's like really trying to kill my battleship here. Yeah. Shift to optimal combat. Strike the killing blow. How may I serve the Tau Bar? We serve the Kova Drum. Cost ready for orders. How may I serve the heart? Strike the killing blow. We 
Oh, I'm risking that. And make sure that you die. Okay, awesome. No care. Uh, okay, we lost some escorts, but no one, no one cares about escorts. Uh, at least I, I think so. In fact, that's my first time actually going up against another battleship. I think. Now that I think about it. Most people like to use the auxiliaries, or so. Well, I'm just like, why would I do that? When I can use my awesome battleship, his bombers can like one shot. <laughs> one shot a, a cruiser, a light cruiser. So there's there's that. And it's a it's a valid valid piece of logic. So why why would you why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just you know just use the battleship or so, seeing how powerful it is. How powerful it can be. Now it has a completely elite crew, so most of them will hopefully make it to the target. Increase the defensive turn range. Alright, cool. So I'll end this video here, and I will catch you guys next time.